Hi, here's another video from Mike with Lakeshore RV. Uh, today we're going to feature a uh, 2022 uh, 25 Wolfpack 12. So it's got the 12 foot garage in it. Um, it's got a super nice patio deck on it. It's got the more ride gate that flips around. Just, just a great deck. Uh, power jacks all the way around on this unit. It's got a spot where you can open up from the interior and you can circulate air. Got a full length awning here. Uh, we've gotten the wheels torqued at 120 foot pounds. The factory's done it, we've done it, but you should also check it again, and that's kind of what they're recommending. You can bring the TV from inside, you can drop it in outside and watch TV outside if you like to do that. And then there's your electrical, and right above it is your TV hookups. Uh, this is your water heater, it runs off gas or electric. Master electric switches here, on and off. Propane switches inside. So if you want to turn off electric, Turn on here if you want to turn off propane then again go inside for propane there's a quick connect gas line here so if you want to run a grill outside you can do that there's your um, power cord i would say shower hose here's your sewer hose and then here's your 30 to 15 adapter uh, 220 pound propane tanks these are both full and ready to go you got your battery up front and then you got your power lift. This will raise and lower it. And then there's a light underneath it. This one's prepped for a generator. So if you ever decide you want to put one in, you can just plug it in with this. Here's all your hookups. This is your um, tank fill. So if you don't have water, stick a hose in here, fill it up, and take the water with you. Otherwise, you just connect to the city water. It runs off the pressure from the hose. Uh, that blue outside shower hose we looked at a minute ago, that connects right here. This is a black tank for flushing out your sewer system. And cable TV input. And then you got your sewer dumps here. So what you want to do is hook your hose up to the end where that cap is. Come over here, pull the black, that's for the toilet. Once that's completely dumped, leave it open, hook a hose up, you can flush that black, black tank out for a few minutes. Just make sure the gate valve is open when you do that. Go ahead and shut the black tank flush off, close the gate valve, and then you want to come over here and pull the gray. That's bathroom sink and shower water, and that'll just kind of rinse your hose out for you. Here's your fuel station. That's, um, we'll do the fuel, fuel pump, and then you turn it on here with the on button. Backup camera, the monitors, there's a um, snapshot underneath it. You can take a picture of it and uh, you can download an app for your phone. So the beds are powered. Um, right now there's a nut and bolt through it from the factory for safety. So you wanna take, go ahead and take that out. Um, so the only way the, um, at that point, the top bunk is held up is by the bottom bunk. So what you want to do is uh, lower it, flip this around. There's one in each corner, and then you raise it up, and that'll release the top bunk. These beds are also, um, you can do vertical or horizontal. Take this pin out. There's a little um, notch here that fits into this hole. Once you get it um, horizontal, then you put the pin back in there, and there's one for each corner. Uh, one for each corner. Got a battery disconnect right there. You also have a heater ducting. AC is ducted through the ceiling. There's a spot for a TV hookup. If you want to add a TV here, you can. And then all your hookups are right above. And ground fault. This is for all the outlets. So if you lose power to one, check the um, check the ground fault here. You might have tripped it. You have a porcelain um, foot pedal flush toilet. freestanding shower plenty of space in the bathroom on this model and then this is your heating and cooling they're testing everything so I won't mess with it too much but you can do high low or high or low fan speed or you can also do auto which is more of a thermostat driven and then you got heat and off so just get it where you want in the mode and you can adjust your temperature here 
total refrigerator, runs right off the battery. If you want to completely turn this off, hold this down for 10 seconds and that'll shut it all off. Or you can use the battery just connect in the back. Um, here's the uh, heated tanks. Um, one of the guys found a sticker to throw on it. Um, so this will heat your tank. So if you get in cold weather and you want to keep um, the tank from freezing, you can turn this on. Although if your trailer's not winterized and the water lines aren't, you know, replaced with winterization fluid, that's not going to do you a whole lot of good. But if you are traveling down the road, this will run off 12 volt. Battery, fresh, black and gray. So this will let you know how full the battery is. Fresh water, they, they have a third in it. And then black and gray is empty. And then your water pump is for the fresh tank. So if you're using the tank, turn the pump on. If you're using the city water, then you don't need the pump. And here's the propane switch for the water heater. Hit that, that lights automatically as long as your propane tanks are open. Um, you have your keys. There's a set of keys for the front door. There's a set of keys for the rear door. There's a number on the door lock on the inside. And then there's a number on the key and you want to match those up. And you got a fireplace that'll kick out heat, change colors. table out here and then you can access the storage from inside or outside and here's various lights you got your slide room in and out this is the awning extend and retract solar panels working and again these are just various lights inside outside <laughs> 